Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday Teaching Tips with me, Sally Cathcart. And today I just wanted to share with you something that happened actually last week, and it started before Christmas, but it was um, a couple of my pupils who got involved, actually three of them in total, who've got involved in playing in the orchestra in the primary school that they're at, which is in, in the village where I live. Now, before Christmas, um, this school had a musical extravaganza and all three of my pupils, one's in year six, one's in year four and one's in year three, uh, wanted to play. So I went along with them and their parents one evening just before Christmas um, when I was very, very full of cold. But nevertheless, I went along and I accompanied them as they played some Christmas carols. And we had a lot of fun. And I know it went down very well with all concerned in the audience. Now, at the end of the concert, uh, the school orchestra was playing. Now, when I say school orchestra, um, this was uh, made up out of all sorts of instruments. We had a bassoon, we had a flute, a clarinet, we had a ukulele, I seem to remember. And then there were lots of percussion players. And one of those players actually was one of was my year six pupil and he'd already told me he was playing with the orchestra and because he can read notation and follow the, the music along he'd been given a keyboard part to play and he was playing something like flute two which bemused him at the start because of course flute two doesn't tend to have the tune so he was trying to work out the tune for the tune for the piece they were playing and he couldn't find it so anyhow another lesson learned there um so at the end of this concert, you know, I went up to the uh, person who'd started the orchestra. She comes in, she's a specialist music teacher coming in and uh, said, oh, you know, really well done for, for, for doing this. And um, have you got space for any more? And she said, oh, yeah, always, always like to have new players. And so my other two pupils got thoroughly inspired by this. And I said, you know, why don't you go along and join the orchestra next term? Because it's so important, I think, for our young pianists to know that they are part of something that is bigger than them. And of course, it's absolutely essential that as pianists, they understand that you have to keep going come what may when you are in an orchestra. You can't stop and say, oh, what's that note? And Sharon and I have been having a lot of conversations recently about how pitch can dominate. When sight reading is happening, pitch completely dominates the situation, whereas actually it needs to be rhythm. If we follow the flow of the rhythm and let the notes kind of happen or not happen, as the case may be, then sight reading is more convincing. On your own as a pianist, that's quite hard to achieve. Learn to play with an orchestra and let the notes go by the wayside, but keep a knowing where you are. And the situation is a very, very different one. So I was absolutely delighted last week when these two um, students of mine turned up flapping pieces of music at me going Sally Sally look what we've got we had orchestra this morning and bless them they were both on flute too of course um but they were reading it and we had a joint lesson because they're sisters um at the very end of their lesson they had an individual lesson sorry and then at the very end we spent five minutes playing this piece together now i don't know how this piece goes and i don't know the accompaniment but it was a sort of a, a, a fandango or a tango or something like that so i just kind of bust something along and they went away as happy as larry and um really really felt that they'd achieved something by doing this and I know back to my time as a director of music, head of music at a school, I always used to encourage the pianist to come along and play a percussion instrument or play something on the keyboard because it connects our young pianists to the wider world of music. The other alternative, of course, is a choir. Yeah, get them singing in a choir. But somehow there's something more about the appeal I find of an orchestra that really makes them go, oh, yes, I'd quite like to do that. And I know for myself, when I've gone along to help out with big orchestras, children's orchestras, and somehow I've ended up playing the cymbals, there is nothing quite as wonderful as sitting there going 63, 2, 3, 4, 64, and going crash at the end. And it gives you such a buzz, I have to say. So that's my enthusiasm being shared with you today. I'm not sure who is out there, but Sharon is. Hello, Sharon. Um, did you know you're our number one fan, Sharon? And Ruth is out there as well. So thank you both for popping in and listening to me. Um, 
or everybody out there if you've got pupils if you've got a, a, a local primary school then see if you can connect them in some way or other to the orchestra or some other music making that's going on in the area all right that's it for me for now see you next week when i'll be back for more tuesday teaching tips bye bye <laughs>